Hey, how's it going? Welcome to, to another episode of the John Graves Show, and I'm bringing you another top 10. Apparently, I gotta get the top 10 Vita games, or at least the top 5 Vita games that I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to this year. Starting from number 5, well, let me jump right into it, because pretty much, <laughs> I don't want to waste any more time. So yeah, starting from number 5, we have a little game called Kick and Finnick. Pretty much, it is a little, uh, fun, a little platformer game which kind of has this little kid named uh, Kick pretty much waking up in this world, I mean, in this futuristic world, and carrying this long sniper rifle gun. And apparently he has this, this little robot with him flying, this small little, little flying robot called named Fennec. And pretty much they kind of have their little, little platform form adventure, and they kind of go through the world and pretty much kind of learn things and you know, kind of learn why he's there, or pretty much that's kind of what I'm, what I, what I'm assuming. So pretty much, hey, it looks like it's a fun little game. Kind of reminds me of like a little bit of, it reminds me of a little bit of like a 2D Super Super Mario with like um, with the with a little bit of the Ratchet and Clank, or or pretty much a little bit of the futuristic Jack and Daxter thrown in. So it's something that um I'm kind of looking forward to. For my number four, I have a little game called Samurai Gun for. Which came out for Steam, but but it's coming out for Vita now. And apparently, it's one of the uh, it's a it's an eight bit type of game, which pretty much you kind of have a samurai and pretty much you have a gun too. The thing is though is that um, it's pretty much one of the one of those games which that you kind of have like a one hit kill thing, which that if you get hit once you die. So pretty much you kind of have to like deflect bullets with your sword, and pretty much you kind of have to like kill kill enemies and make it through these levels without necessarily dying or getting hit so give or take it does kind of have like some old retrospectivey um, um, um uh, it, it has a re it has a definite retro feel feel to it which does honestly kind of make make it feel like it's it's pretty much it's pretty much going to be the the real deal so something that I am looking forward to in terms of my number three, we have a good game called Soul Sacrifice Delta coming out for the Vita, and it is a sequel to the very to to the very underrated Soul Sacrifice, which was a game which pretty much throughout the entire game you could pretty much like do all of the book uh, all of the book stuff. You could um uh, you pretty much like had this com com compelling story with these characters in this book. You kind of uh, learned and grew as you read this book book and pretty much kind of leveled up all all uh, all of your spells even pretty much kind of seeing the rise and fall of a certain character namely the villain who that you have uh, you have to fight in this game so give or take give or take with that it does kind of breathe a lot of life in um into this game and it is actually kind of a good thing that uh, this game is actually getting a sequel something that that pretty much I probably won't pick up day one but at the same time it's still something that uh, I do want to pick up and play and kind of see what's gonna happen next in this crazy story of our future of dealing with magic and things of the underworld and so on and so forth now going on from this this is a game which pretty much I kind of wasn't expecting to get a sequel but Hotline Miami 2 Hotline Miami 2 is one of those games which pretty much you kind of really don't expect it to get to uh, get a sequel, and it's not because it's a it is not because it's a, it's a terrible game. It's mostly because of the fact that if you look at the main character in the game, he kind of seem it seems like that he like if you do beat beat the game for the main character in this case Jacket. His entire thing was pretty much like he pretty much kind of killed everybody who was trying to take it for granted and pretty much he kind of took over right where they left off at. Then then if you beat beat Helmet's thing is pretty much the thing of like he kills Jacket and then he ends the entire thing of of what the people were doing to try and do this. Now mind you, if that that I'm spoiling this, the game has been out been out man for a while, so Pretty much, if you haven't played it yet, might as well just go ahead and play it. So solely because the story itself really was pretty simplistic, and the most of the gameplay in it was pretty arcadey, and it did honestly kind of keep keep uh, it did honestly kind of keep keep the interest of uh, the game alive. But however, going from going um from that note, we do honestly kind of have the game. Um, I do honestly 
am curious as to what's going to happen in the sequel. What are, what's what new things are going to come about? Are we going to get? Um, is it still going to be? Well, I would assume that that it's still going to have have its same gameplay feel. But at the same time, I do wonder like. Are we? Um, is it really going to change all that much from getting the masks, or is it just going to stay the same, and that's going to be like our main focus for the entire game? So until then, hey, how how I outline Miami Two, my number two game, and my number one. I know that this is a game that is, that is already out, but I'm looking forward to Borderlands Two for the Vita. There's nothing more interesting to me than than pretty much playing a game game in which that I pretty much. Oh, I'll, I'll, uh, I outright love, I pretty much like like playing it on my Vita. If I could play it on my Vita, if I could play the first one, if I could play, um, if I could play the first one on my Vita, I would. If I can play 2, which 2 is coming out soon for it, I would. The only thing that I kind of hope that uh, they do kind of bring, bring to it, I do hope that uh, they give me the Game of the Year edition. The one that um had that comes that that comes with all the DLC, all of the um all of the skins and all that special stuff with it. That's kind of the only thing that I do kind of hope for because if they don't, that's kind of a that's that's kind of a jip in terms of like well yeah man the actual game came out like like um two years ago in sep September. Well here's that copy. No more. Uh, you still gotta buy all of the, um all of the updates and everything. So. Yeah, that 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 would be kind of a jip, but at, at the same time, it's one of those games which that I can let 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 slide for that solely because I like it so much, and solely because they actually put their all into everything that they kind of like add on to uh, the game. Unlike some games which which pretty much just don't give me enough, this game honestly gives me too much to the point of like. Yeah, man, I really need me some friends to buy to buy this game just so I can share how much I love this game with them. So that ha so that has been my top five for the Vita games. Tell me what you guys think of them. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Tell me down there in the comment section. I was um uh, so uh, so until then, you keep watching anime, you keep playing those video games. I will see you guys on the next John Grave show. I'm out.